welcome another quick video i've been looking lately getting something outdoors to watch tv outdoors um due to covid19 a lot of people look at getting projectors um as we speak now it's june 2021 we've got the euro started you've got a little bar down your garden or a little cheeky bar or whatever type of bar you've got out watching tv outdoors is another way of getting people around having a drink and having a chat i've been looking at getting a projector and a screen but a lot of people complain you need quite dark nights to watch it you can't watch it in, in the light and um, in my bar if you've seen the tour you'll know that i've got three tvs in already i've got a splitter box which runs four tvs so i'll put the link down there somewhere to that video that shows introduced you to splitter box that i bought um i did have a spare tv a 40 inch tv an old plasma one i thought i've got an idea i'll put that outside with the night weather's nice not just for the football i put the tv outside for the football little movie night um, if you've got a nice evening you can have a glass of wine and a, and a movie night outdoors a bit like a cinema a mini cinema experience um, when you've got children or young children or grandchildren you have them around and do a car, cartoon evening or something like that so I looked into it and so I got the old TV I did put it up for sale I took it off for sale kept it it's an old plasma and it weighs a little bit didn't really work out I'll show you in a minute the bracket I put it on bolted, to the, bolted it to the bar but that wouldn't take the weight the bracket was fine but the it's an old bracket, but the bracket was fine with a visa mount. But I bolted it to the side of the shed. And the shed, the wood is just not taking the weight. So let me just spin the camera and show you what I tried to do. See, I mean, this is just not taking the weight, although it's a proper decent bracket. So I've done a little bit of research on this thing. I ordered this off Amazon. Link below. A company called Bontech. I've done some research and this, I'm really pleased with this, for the money, you can't go wrong. They do a couple of other, other models on wheels for offices where you wheel them about. This is perfect for what I wanted, because what I wanted to do, I wanted to be able to lift the TV on and off. And I want to be able to move it, depending on the sunlight and, and etc. So this is one I've gone for, the Bontec. Right, I'll put the link below, that's the model number there, if you can see that. All this of Amazon Prime came for the next day. And I'll tell you what, it is quality. For the money, I'm well pleased, hence I'm doing this video. I, want to, I don't normally do on mini unboxing videos or reviews on gear, but this, I think when I bought it, it was 50 cent quid. But it's a tripod. The reason I went for a tripod one as opposed to the others. They do others that I said to you wheel about, but they're not compact. I mean, that is proper, proper thick tubing. It's a, honestly, it's a lump. There's about 40 odd mil pipe work there. Extendable different heights with a you get under the knob there, that moves up and down, but you've got a double pin there. It's even got little cutouts there, so it sits on the rest there. You see it there, there, there. I wouldn't recommend it too high, so let me just show you. I'll put that in there, put that in, right, drop it down, tie it up. Right. So I put legs pull out. Now, if you read the instructions for this, it tells you to put it all together, put the bracket, etc., on the pipe work on top, and then attach it to your TV. If you follow what I've done, this basically comes out of the box like this. So set this up, extend your tripod, drop the legs as much as you can. I'll spin the camera around, get your tripod legs nice and wide, tighten up the lock nut. And I'll show you the TV in a minute. I'll get the TV out and I'll show you the bracket fixed to the TV. Literally, you can just literally lift the TV with the bracket on top of this pole. It's brilliant, you watch this. I'll spin the camera around and show you and we'll set it up. Um, we're not doing a romantic movie night tonight or cartoon night. I think this football on in a minute, so I'm gonna put that on instead. And then I'll put the umbrella up and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, all you gotta do is plug into the electric and put an HDMI lead from your splitter box into the TV. I'll show you. So what I did, I took the sticker off the back, looked up on the internet to see the weight. This is a big old TV, 42 inch plasma. Okay, that's a lump. And the stand more than cap is capable of taking the weight of it. I'll show you the packet in a minute. It's supplied with bolts, fixings, space. I had to use spacers here, which are supplied because it was found in this mains plug socket. I can't find out how to get it, but here's the adjustment for the up and down. And this is pretty tight for left and right. There you go. 
that's up and down. If you fix this on first, put your brackets on. I think it goes to I think it goes to 400 to 400. I think this is four by three. V's amount. Use your space as you've required. Use your washers there that they supply and the bolts. They supply all the bolts, all the fittings. So you nip that in like that, and then you tighten that up. The great thing about this one is you can just lift this on and off on that pipe. I'll show you. Lift it. Comes with instruction book, which we, you really don't need. It's just how to put the bracket on the back of the TV. Put the bracket on the TV first, as I said. Then just lay it onto your tripod. Comes with little spirit level, which you don't need. Spanner, which you don't really need. Packers, packers, all different length bolts. I've used a couple of packers to ease it off the TV a bit. And an Allen key, which is I can't find at the moment. But let me show you me lift it onto the tripod. I'm not one to promote stuff. I don't get paid for this, but this is a bit of quality. I love it for the money. As I said, I looked into, I looked into projectors. I looked into screens. And don't forget, I'll show you now. I mean, this is proper 40 odd mil. It's got to be more than 40 mil tubing. It is a lump. It's lovely for the money. Great thing about this, it folds up, folds away. You can put it in your shed, your bar, wherever you want, your, or your um, tiki bar, whatever. And the TV can spin round, so you can move it round with the light. Um, I'll put a link below to this, and I'll put a link below to some decent HMR leads. There you go. And that's a heavy TV. Bit of a struggle, it's just a matter of getting it lined up. I mean, the pipe could have been longer, but you'd have to do that nut up, really. Lovely. That is solid now. I'll plug it in and show you what it's like. If you can read. Now this can now rotate. Obviously I recommend tightening that up. Adjustable here at the angle. You just undo these, loosen these two up at the side here to adjust the angle of the TV. adjustable tilt the tilt's adjustable here left and right is adjustable here and you must tighten this up you must put this pin in fully weighted down because that's the series heavy but all this comes with it the visa mount this 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 a whole lot for the money that's brilliant right that's the stand i've gone through the stand with the tripod stand how solid it is and the brackets Take my advice, ignore the instructions, fix the bracket for the back of the TV first, lower it on. It's possible to do it one, one hand, but you've got to be careful. It might be something else to help guide it, tighten it all up. As I said, great for football, movie nights, cartoon nights with your kids, children, anything you want. I've plugged in the mains electric, and as I said, you can, you can move it about. I, I do recommend having the front leg, because it's a triangle, having one leg point to the front of the TV, just to stop it. It's a little bit top heavy. Um, obviously, be very, very careful with children. Don't leave children alone with this, because it could topple over. If they grab it and pull it, it could topple. I've got the legs pretty wide, and I'm still, enabled, I'm still able to pull that over. So if you had a young child, take my advice, don't let young children near this. As I said, I recommend having one of the legs at the front of the TV, so it's pointing forward, stop it toppling forward. But then it can topple side to side. And obviously if you're going to move the TV around different places, it, it, the legs will vary. So just keep an eye on it. Don't leave, leave young children with it. There's some football on now. I'm going to plug the HMI lead in. I'll show you what we've got. Obviously you've got light on it and then I put the brolly up. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. I'll show you. Right, that's the TV switched on. Obviously there's a little bit, a bit of light on it. I'm using Amazon Fire Stick in the main TV in the, in the bar, in the pub shed. That's got a splitter box. As I said, I put a video to the splitter box video. It's running four TVs. I've just got this one with one switch on at the moment. If I go over to BBC iPlayer, let me put the umbrella up and I'll show you what we've got. There you go, umbrella's up. Gives you a bit of shelter, stops the light. Picture's brilliant. It may not show on the screen here to be fair, but the um, picture's absolutely brilliant. You can sit out here, watch the football movie cartoons for the kids whatever you want well, i hope you like that little video thank you for watching i do really recommend this stand 
get one now, quick before I sell out, because I think they're going to be great. The projector, you wouldn't see this with a projector. Honestly, I'm, I'm well pleased with it. Solid as you like. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Yeah, get one of these stands, get a TV outside. I've got three TVs inside, three TVs in the bar now, one outside. And it's not just for football, it's for other sports, Olympics, you know, whatever you want. And, um, yeah, if anyone moans about the money for the price of it, as I said, that stand can fold up and you can put that away and you can use that forever more. Not just for this TV, other TVs in the future. So, ta -da.